all, it is Tina from Outback Bath and Body Co. in Australia. Um, I did the last video like this probably about three videos ago where I showed you something that you could use for a bath bomb mold that was not intended to be used as a bath bomb mold. Uh, I know when you're starting out it can be expensive. Some bath mold molds are really, really cheap, but then like once you start getting to the shaped molds and stuff, it does become more expensive. So I like to find little alternative things for you guys to use that are quite cheap, easy to find, and have cute little results. So today, excuse my hands, I have been molding bath bombs for like the last hour, but today I have for you this. Now if you're not familiar with this, this is a little tea light cup. So for candles that make the beautiful little tea light candles. It's a bit of mix still in there. And basically you can make beautiful little heart bath bombs with this particular one. They also come in other shapes. So you've got, this is a butterfly. This actually worked alright. I did like a little tester, tester one with this. Sorry, it's got a bit of bath bomb dust on it. So that's how the butterfly turned out. I did the stars, didn't like the stars. Obviously it's for candles, it's not for bath bombs, but the points on this were just too pointy um, and they just didn't want to come out properly. So stars, you could give it a red hot go, but I don't recommend it. Unless you get a more rounded base on that mold. So I'm gonna do a little example for you now that I've said that you can use it. So obviously, as I've just shown you, mine are little rose petal hearts. So I've just gone some crushed rose petals in the bottom for effect. I don't know, I don't have gloves. I'm sorry, my hands are clean aside from the mass amount of bath bomb dust that I have been playing with. Here's some of my mix here. I'm still going with my mix. So all I'm going to do, and hopefully so you can see it, is just pack some of that in, probably three quarters of the way, and then push it down nice and firm. I don't know why I'm adding the um on the end of my words. Anyway, and then refill it up to the top, backfill it nice and firm until it's not going to push any more into that mould just a little bit more for me because we're going to do around the edges and then I'm going to take my trusty cake scraper and scrape off the top so we have a nice flat back because remember this is going to be the back of our mold or the back of our bath bomb sorry so you can see nice and flat no overflow get this here give it a bit of a tap now because they're plastic and they've got do have a little catchy point here, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a squeeze and a tap. And they just kind of pop right out. And, ooh, almost dropped it. So there you go. There's another alternative that you can use as a bath bomb mold that is dirt cheap. I think they were only about 90 cents each. And you can get them in like a pack of 16 on eBay. Um, so there you go. There's another alternative for you guys if you want to make some cute little bath bombs. These ones are for Mother's Day. And, oops, just dropped it on its face. But as you can see, I've been quite busy doing my sets of six here. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. Have a great day. I'll see you next time for the next video. Bye-bye.